Okay, it's turbo oil drain time. Ordered this off eBay because I thought it'd be better than the straight down uh, little fitting, but you can see we are even worse than if we just use that little straight down fitting. So that means we'll have to uh, modify this. So this is half inch, bought off eBay, half inch uh, pipe thread. So it is tapered into this little uh, channel. So what I'm gonna do is cut this off right here somewhere and make it a lot thinner, smaller, um, and then re-tap the threads, hopefully get it somewhere close to where that 45 elbow is pointing towards the uh, tube and the, uh, the bottom of the oil pan. All right, time to cut up some more new parts. All right, got it in my vise here. Got a little line right there. I'm gonna try and cut somewhere around there, cut that whole uh, piece off. Um, pretty sure this is aluminum, so I need to wear a respirator or some type of mask or something because that looks pretty toxic when you cut it. All right, got it cut off, cleaned up a little bit, and also drilled a hole through the uh, 2x4 behind it. I'm just going to try and run a tap through it. I'm not sure which drill bit size it's supposed to be, uh, but I'm pretty sure I don't have the correct drill bit size, so I'm just going to try and ruin this thing. So it is actually going in and cutting like that so i'm just gonna keep rolling with it. i got 15 uh, millimeter spline drive on this uh end of this half inch pipe tap pipe thread tap so i'm gonna go little by little and see how far i can get the <clears throat> 45 in there um because it is a tapered tap it'll stop and start to get tight um so i want to make sure that when it does get tight that it's angled over to the side and towards the Bone oil. All right, so I only got a couple threads cut so far, and you can tell that it's nowhere close to where I need it to be. Um, the hole's getting pretty tight. Uh, the tap's getting pretty tight in the hole, so it's uh, I might need to drill it out or figure something out because I think it's just going to be... Uh, it's just not going to go... It's not going to cut the metal out as well. I was also thinking about maybe cutting off some of the threads on the elbow and then re-threading that but uh, because of the tapered fit even if I did cut them off I wouldn't be able to get the tap down far enough to get the threads to a smaller uh, diameter or whatever to get it even in there. So I actually got it drilled out with this uh, Three quarter inch uh, drill bit. I just uh, moved it over here and used the wood as a little uh, so I could use the center point of the bit. But I'm gonna try and tap it out again. See if I can get a get the tap deeper in there. Well, would you look at that? We're pretty close. Um, two things I need to do. Uh, it's not quite square and does need to be, you know, in line with the holes so it goes straight to the pan. Um, so what I'm going to do is trim a little bit of the uh, what's left right there off. And then I also need to cut off the threads because this will not fit up into the turbo. All right, need to cut the uh, threads off right about at the edge of that zip tie. So I gotta figure out some way to clamp this down and cut it. All right, made a couple more adjustments, trimmed a little more off that collar and uh, put the tap in and twisted another, I don't know, maybe 60 degrees. So I'm about pointed the other, the other direction towards the other hole on the flange. All right, we have our modified eBay oil drain flange with a 45 degree elbow. Uh, that's about finger tight right there. I cleaned up the top of this so that it wouldn't touch or interfere with the uh, bottom of the turbo. So I'll probably need another, I don't know, however many degrees that is to tighten it. Um, hopefully that'll help seal it. I am going to use some of this 
a copper gasket maker. I'm just gonna smear it all over the threads. Mm, you know what? I'm not even gonna use the tube. I'm just gonna smear this on the threads. Now I think there is some like specific oil resistant sealant type stuff for high temperatures that you would be able to use here, but I'm not going to go out and buying any, buy any more sealants or wait for something to never come in the mail. So we're just gonna run it. I'm just gonna put it in. Of course I can't get it threaded now. Come on, you sh all right, threaded. Sealant should be good. That's finger tight, so I just, now I just want it aligned with the hole so it's pointed directly towards the bung in the oil pan. Oh, it's close. Oh, look at that. Nice and tight, lined up with the hole should point directly towards the bung in the oil pan got a little bit of sealant in there as well maybe that'll help seal it maybe it won't but this should be a pretty easy fix uh even after it's on the car so let's put this okay on. we are getting pretty close here we got the uh, gasket on in between the flange got two bolts through um i did cut this three quarter uh, pipe, um, rubber hose, whatever, once, and I tried to put it on, and you can kind of tell when I bend it up, it's just about maybe a quarter inch too long. I did cut it at an angle as well. I uh, hope that would help as well, but it looks like I need to take about a quarter inch off, because um, when I did put it on, it was about, and I can't see that from the lighting, but it's almost to the all the way to the pan and uh, it had a bad kink in it. So uh, I do need to trim some off. I'd rather have it be a little short um, on both sides uh, than be too long and kink and then hold. All right, so I did trim the hose, trimmed a little more. Maybe, what is that? Quarter inch, half inch. But it's on, no kinks. Looking right into the light, but I did clamp it down. I still need to uh, tighten the bolts for the flange on the outlet. Not the most ideal drain, um, but until I can come up with something better, this is at least gonna get the car running, hopefully.